Record it, okay? Perfect. Okay. This is going to be a video about how much of the kind of wood that I split and the setup I use and uh, my little Ryobi splitter and I've got a, a bench set up and my Ryobi splitter is over there on the table and we'll get some close-up shots of that. Just to give you a rough idea of the kind of wood that I split, this is a sample of the kind of wood that I split and in terms of diameter, that's about a 15 inch piece, that's about a 15 inch piece, this one up here, that's about a 16 inch piece, so most of these pieces up here are 15 to 16 inches. Okay, now you can stop that. Is it recording? Okay. This is all, this is from about four trees. And this is about one full cord of wood here, or three face cords. That's how much wood is there. Okay, it's going to take me about two minutes. I'm going to load about a dozen of these rungs on my table here. Okay. And then we'll actually do some splitting for you. Starting just a second. Okay, okay just a second. This tongue okay. Weighs about 50 to 60 pounds. Okay, I've got a dozen rounds loaded on the table. That took me two or three minutes. And back here is my splitter. And I'm, I'm going to walk back to the splitter. And I've got the height of the splitter about the same height as the table. So I can take these rounds now and I just roll it right across the splitter. See how that worked? I didn't have to do any more lifting. Okay? Now this is a big rung. This is just a little four-ton Ryobi splitter. And we'll see what it can do. I need my pieces pretty big, and all I do is throw them in the trailer.
Some of this wood, if it's stringy, it can take a little longer. here. So they require two hands to operate. But my hand is big enough, I can use my little finger on that and my thumb on that. That frees up this hand to steady the load. And again, this is the average kind of wood you can get. This is hard wood. It's like maple and I get old, but it's all pretty straight grain, and it just it's pretty easy. It would take me about 50 this table out. And if I put 
oh, 12 to 15 rounds on the table, and it's a pretty good size, and if I do that three times, that's about one face quart of wood. So I would split all this into the trailer, load up the table again, split it all, load up the table a third time, and split it. Three loads on the table would equal one face cord in the trailer. And it goes pretty fast. It takes me about... It takes me about 45 minutes to do one face cord. But it takes me about three hours to do one full cord. That includes loading the table back up, taking sips off my coffee, scratching my butt, picking my nose. <laughs> but again, everything is at the right height, so I'm not, I'm not fighting with anything. The hardest part was loading the table. And once the table is loaded, the splitting is fairly easy. It doesn't have to go all the way down. It splits the wood and I can usually just pull it right apart. Again, I try not to fight with the wood. Kind of work with you. Let's get a close up of the table. This is just a simple little table that the splitter sits on. And I can, you know, take the splitter off and move the table, or I can even leave the splitter on the table and pull the splitter wherever I need it. Just a simple little table. This, I built this a little stouter. It's four by four with half inch thick plywood because it's holding more weight. And I angled it up a little bit so that as I take a round off, the rest of the rounds just kind of roll toward me. And it works pretty good. So, with this little system, I can split about a face cord. It takes about three hours to split one face cord. That includes all the loading of the table and you know, all the things that I do. But it's not hard to do. It goes right into my <coughs> right into my trailer, and then from here I take it out and I stack it. That's my little operation. Okay. On three, two. One. Go. Okay. In my living room, I keep one full cord of wood, and it takes me 10 to 14 days to heat my 1,200 square foot manufactured home. And from here, the wood goes right into my stove, which is right here. So, it's about oh, 10 or 15 feet, or maybe 20 feet. 20 feet from my stove over to my wood pile. And by keeping the wood in the house like this, the dry air helps to dry the wood out even more. So the wood always burns real good.